Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new presentation on sample size calculation for cohort study. Today, we are going to discuss about how to calculate sample size for cohort study in MS Excel. First, we have to uh, discuss some background issue. For code study, we have to guess an, a hypothesis. Generally, the effect size for code study is a risk ratio or relative risk. That means we have to take a hypothesis based on a relative risk or risk ratio. For example, uh, two variables, one is outcome variable and other is exposure variable. In this example data set, the exposure variable is not wearing mass or wearing mass. And since it's a cohort study, after a specific time period, uh, we will get the prevalence of uh, having COVID-19 positive among exposed group. Similarly, we'll get the prevalence of Prevalence, this is the not prevalence since the nuclear cases outcome, this incidence. This is called risk from exposed groups. And the ratio between two uh, probability of risk is called a risk ratio. Now we have to estimate the sample size from both groups. The usual null hypothesis when the relative risk is the parameter of interest is null hypothesis, risk ratio is equal to one. Any ratio estimate, the null value is one. One means there is no relationship between two groups. That means risk among exposed is equal to risk among other groups. That is the hypothesis that the proportion of those who develop the disease is the same for both the exposed and unexposed group. And risk ratio is equal to one means the uh, Incidence from one group is equal to incidence from other group. Incidence means risk in this example. The null hypothesis may be started in terms of these probabilities as null hypothesis. Based on the null hypothesis, null hypothesis the sample size calculator formula is equal to n is equal to this mathematical term where P1 is the prevalence for outcome in the unexposed group. And P2 is equal to prevalence of outcome in the exposed group, where P is equal to the prevalence uh, uh, arithmetic mean of P1 and P2. Alpha is the level of significance, beta is equal to one minus power, and Z is equal to Z is corresponding to the degrees of confidence. And N1 is equal to calculate sample size for R. Here, N1 is equal to number of uh, the number of sample case or sample size per arm. And if we put the value in this formula, finally, we'll get the sample size 262. And the proportion of Exposed group or unexposed group, this is the hypothetical value. And for example, uh, P1 is the unexposed group. The prevalence of 70% will go, will we get the prevalence from literature review. And the exposed group, prevalence of exposed group, 35%, this is the based on the our hypothesis. Let's go MS Excel. It is MS Excel, P1 means, P1 means unexposed groups. P1 means unexposed group. And this is uh, from, for example, uh, the 75% 
will get 70% from literature review. 17.5% from and the exposed group, the uh, probability will be 35%. Then the average is equal to E1 plus P2 divided by two. Level of significance is 5%. Power, power is equal to nineteen percent. Then, z alpha value, z alpha value is equal to one minus normal, normal inverse. One minus alpha. That means one minus alpha means five percent divided by two. Norm is inverse. Norm is inverse. One minus alpha means five percent divided by two. Then one point nine six. Uh, decimal place, one decimal place. And beta two, this is also norm, norm, S inverse, norm, where is norm S inverse? Norm, norm is norm is inverse one minus beta. This is one minus beta. This is not percentage, this is number. Then now we have to now we, we have to write this formula in this cell is equal to Z alpha, Z alpha, this is Z alpha into square root, A square T square root, square root, square root, Two into P. Where is P? This is P. P means P1 plus P2. This is P. Into bracket one minus P. Plus Z beta, Z beta, Z beta, Z beta, this is Z beta into SQRT square root, square root P1, P1, this is P1 into one minus P1, then plus P2 into one minus P2, and last Power whole to the power two divided by P one minus P two square uh, 
at the sample size, this is the arm one and same sample size in the group two, that means exposed group. Sorry, this all are percentage and then total sample size is equal to one N one plus N two. Then sample size is 262, 262, okay, this is, okay. And if we uh, take attrition, that means drop out or loss of follow-up, 10%, uh, 10%, Ten percent, ten percent, so on, so on. So into one point one. Ten percent mean one point one. This is the final sample size after considering seventeen percent, ten percent attrition. And this is the main formula. This is the main formula. Please see carefully how to write the formula. Okay. Yes. And this is the final sample size without attrition. If we guess 10%, then it will be 1.2, 1.2. 1 sorry, 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 sorry. One point two. But if we consider 20% addition, then simple size is 314, 314, 314. This is the final sample size. So thank you for watching this video.